How big is that film going to be? Well, my advice is you know, get out of the way. <laughs> Batman is going to uh, just, just take over. It's opening at like 3,000 theaters, which is probably about 3,800 screens. Warner Brothers will have you know a ton of money behind it. Joel Schumacher, who directed it, is a much more mainstream director than Tim Burton. Uh, this film will be accessible to an even broader audience than the first ones. And let's face it, Jim, Jim Carrey as the Riddler uh, is certainly going to be a big draw. Hugh Grant is going to be making a just become the highest paid comedian in film history. According to Daily Variety, the comic actor will be paid $20 million to star in the movie Cable Guy, which is scheduled for release next summer. Meanwhile, Batman Forever opens this weekend with Carrie during, doing a star turn as the Riddler. Bill Tush has more on that story. In less than two years, rubber face comic Jim Carrey has achieved superstardom with three films that have all been box office blockbusters. First came Ace Ventura Pet Detective, then The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber. Now comes Batman Forever. Carrie takes on the role of the Cape Crusader's nemesis, the Riddler, and it's a sure bet his performance will tear up the screen. What's the point, big boy? Has anybody ever told you you have a serious impulse control problem? Was that over the top? All this in less than two years? Maybe so, but Jim Carrey is no overnight sensation. So, when you were struggling along, when the first Batman movie came out, where were you? Uh, I was <coughs> um, having my lung removed. <laughs> no, um, no, I was, uh, I was in Las Vegas. I was playing the Dunes Hotel. Uh, I was trying to do my new act, and I had everybody from Mitzi to the, the guy in the lighting booth going, you suck, man. You really suck. Either Carey was ahead of his time or those guys were just wrong. No matter, because these days he's sitting on top of the world. I remember getting together with the comics and going to see uh, the first Batman in Vegas and thinking, man, this is big. Great actors all thrown together, obviously having fun doing something that's, that's not important, <laughs> you know, and, and just, just showing off. Well, now it's his turn to play with the big boys. Tommy Lee Jones as Two-Face, the other bad guy. Nicole Kidman as Chase Meridian, a beautiful criminal psychologist. And Val Kilmer steps in as Batman. Who is Batman? If somebody said to you, Jim, we want you to play Batman, or no, give you a choice. You'd be Batman or you'd be the Riddler. What would you do? I'd probably be the Riddler, just because it suits me more. Uh, you know, and, uh, well, that's the cool thing about Val, though. Val was very, like, you know, he came into it going, you know, this is the Riddler's movie. We kind of, like, selfless, like, I'm, I'm here to show off the Riddler. And show off he does. But who would expect less of Jim Carrey? Woo! Bill Tush, CNN Entertainment Production News, Capital. New York. So I can put a